Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm in Isha, Isha in Surrey. I don't think I've ever been, only once in 1999 when we went to the Comic Con uh, convention at Sandown Park with some friends. But I've never actually stopped in Isha. I've driven through it a few times, only last year, but I've never stopped here. And I brought you to a quite a unique church in Isha. It's St George's Church. A very rare example of an early Tudor church around the time of the Reformation, built in 1540. So one of the earliest Anglican churches uh, in the country. Um, I picked up the keys from Savile's estate agents. Very nice uh, lady helped me out there. Thank you, Lizzie. And I'm going to go inside and have a look around. So yeah, quite a unique church. Let's go. It's a beautiful day today, by the way. And um, this beautiful church, now under the care of the uh, Church's Conservation Trust, is built with sandstone and brick. It had later additions in the 1700s and the 1800s. There's a lot, once again, like these old churches, lots of mishmash of styles, as you can see. Amazing buttresses here. Do like a good buttress on a church. Yeah, St George's Isha. This church is cared for by the Church's Conservation Trust. Although no longer needed for regular worship, it remains a consecrated building. A part of England's history maintained for the benefit of this and future generations. That's fantastic. I've heard of this church for quite a long time, and so I've never been here before. First time. First time in Isha, uh, really. And I have got a pub lunch booked next door at the Bear, which is that building right there. So yeah, let's uh, see if we can get in. Okay, got the key. So this was the parish church of Isha up until 1854 when Christ Church was built uh, just across the road there. And it's a very unique church this, I have to admit, very unique. This is the first time I've ever had to come to church and actually borrowed the keys. Because now I've gone to churches in the past and they've been locked. Um, and people say, why don't you sort of try and email ahead or phone ahead? I, I just can't be bothered, but this one was quite an easy one. I just wanted to make sure on the instructions on the website saying you collect the keys from the estate agent. So I just emailed them and say yesterday um, just to make sure that that's still the case. And it was. You just sign out and give them your telephone number and all's good. That's cool. Walter Hayes, CBE, 1924-2000, who helped to preserve the church as chairman of the church's conservation trust. I worship here with his wife, Elizabeth Hayes. It became a charitable uh, trust in 1986, I think it was, when the Church's Conservation Trust took over. There was a group here back in the 1960s who renovated the church because it was falling into disrepair. Excuse me, into disrepair. Lots of t uh, marble tombs, but it's hard to read some of the writing. 1839, it looks much older, but they're not. That one's 1839, 1820. Let's go up into the gallery, see what we can see from up there. Ah. Can't get into the gallery. The padlock looks a bit sturdy, so. Rather magnificent in memory of Leopold and Charlotte. 
Ah, I've done some little bit of research. I'm going to pick up a little bit of a guide as we walk round. This chamber pew, designed in 1725 for this chap, Thomas, Duke of Newcastle, Prime Minister and owner, owner of Claremont. So we've got Claremont Gardens nearby, National Trust uh, Landscape Garden. Yeah, Prime Minister. Did you know, also know that uh, Queen Victoria worshipped in this church um, uh, when she was coming through? Yeah, Queen Victoria. It's got some nice Corinthian pillars as well. Also, we can't see the other side because there's no way to look in, unless I can look in through the window when we go back outside. Ladies and gentlemen, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. This is what's interesting about this church. It says here, it's a rare example for village church uh, of the Tudor, Stuart, and Hanoverian periods. Um, I so say there was a church on here before this one, because um, I think records go back to the 1200s. There's a plaque up here, uh, Sir Thomas Lynch, late governor of Jamaica, and he introduced sugarcane into Britain, sugarcane. There's one of the original uh, dedication crosses uncovered in 1996. The chancel and nave come from the 1540 buildings of some of the original structure of the original building. I could say quite a few mishmash of styles here. So from St George's Church, what we're going to do is just go over to um, Christ Church, the new Victorian church that superseded this one, and see what that's all about. so I won't linger. Each is very interesting actually. We've got Wayne Fleet Tower nearby, which was a gatehouse originally, uh, built in the 1450s I think, or 1460s. And it's part of this vast Tudor estate, one of the first Tudor, as Tudor estates in England. But now only the gatehouse remains and it's a private residence. Um, so we can't, we can't go and peer in. I know Time Team did a episode from there back in 2006, which you can find on YouTube somewhere. Um, so yes, I actually might watch that later on. There's lots of bunting out today because it's the King's coronation on Saturday, this Saturday coming. Obviously when you see this video that have been gone. Um, um, yeah, whatever, if that's your thing, that's your thing. Very bright today, very bright. And now it's time for lunch, and we're going down to The Bear, which is in um, Isha High Street, just by St George's Church. Let's go. Let's go. 